Here we go with today's mostly interesting and a bit of a unique twist on the usual Halloween lawn decorations. This comes to us from Smithfield, Rhode Island. A man named Joshua decided to create homemade tombstones dedicated to some of the many businesses and stores that are no longer around. Places like Radio Shack and Sears and Toys R Us and Blockbuster all represented on his front lawn. They also include their birth and death dates, rest in peace. Joshua says that he used recycled roofing insulation and a hot knife to craft them all. Since starting to display these a few years ago, he says that he's been able to add more every year, thanks to the input from community, the community as they pass by. <laughs> so, all I could think of is the kids coming to trick or treat and be like, where? They've probably never heard of a lot of these places. Mm -hmm. What's a like, blockbuster? I like know Halloween decorations, and they'll, they'll keep going. Which reminds me, actually, uh, we're gonna be a little breezy. Oh, coming good into to know. the weekend. So yeah, maybe secure some of those Halloween decorations. I was just thinking about what we had outside right now. I think our ghosts will probably fly yeah. a little bit extra. Batten down the ghosts. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't look like you know high wind gusts, but just yeah, about thirty mile per hour wind gusts. Yeah, still. <laughs> <laughs> uh, gotta secure the ghosts. Might not be any match for a you know, spider on your front lawn. Yeah, right. All right, uh, I think we've known for a long time that diehard Star War fans love collecting movie memorabilia, but a recent sale set a new record. This is a model of a Sea Ray fighter used to film a climatic battle scene in Star Wars. And this week it sold at auction for $3.1 million. That far exceeded the opening price of $4,000, or $400,000 that is. It's the highest price ever paid for a prop used on screen in the movie series. Friends of a Hollywood visual effects artist who worked on the film found it in a storage in his garage. And after he passed away last year, a similar model sold for less last year, $2.4 million. I hope I read that right. <laughs> Imagine you had millions of dollars in your garage. Right, and they all, it, it, it sold for less. I'm like, that's still a lot. Yeah, people have too much money. That is a lot. Although I have no idea about how much this stuff is supposed to go for. <laughs> I would have no idea and either. Maybe it is supposed to be that much, but that is a lot. Oh, good for you. Enjoy it, whoever bought that. <laughs> yes. Still ahead.